the Marmot Review it was a review of health inequalities in England. Last year, we pointed out that life expectancy had stopped increasing, something that had gone on for more than 90 years, an increase of about one year every four years, in 2011 slowed down nearly to a halt. Life expectancy as a measure of health tells us a great deal about how we're doing as a society and the inequalities in health tell us even more about society. So if life expectancy has stopped improving and inequalities are widening, it's really urgent to ask what's going on, what's going wrong and what can we do about it. We plan to publish our second review exactly on the 10 year anniversary of the publication of the Marmot Review. What we're aiming for in this work is for governments to take more notice. We know that healthcare probably has um, far less um, influence over people's health than other factors such as uh, your early life experience, such as whether you have a good job, um, whether you're living in a crime-free neighbourhood, whether you've got good housing, whether you're educated well, and whether you have a viable and supportive local community. And all those things, or a lot of them, are very much affected by the uh, policies uh, by government and also the actions of wider actors other than the communities themselves. Doing it with the Health Foundation, which is a very important player in the health system in the UK, means we've got an important partner. It enables us to do it in a more in-depth way than we could otherwise. This work is very, very important and it's a major feature of our work at the Health Foundation and it's particularly pertinent because we see the health improvements that we've taken for granted over the last few decades stall and we want to get under the skin about why that's the case and work out what policies are now needed to remedy them.